Now, may I say to you very candidly today that John is going to say something else that ought to alert every one of you listening to this program today. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. If you entertain him, if you support him, you are a partner with him in this sort of thing. And that, my friend, is the reason that you ought to investigate everything that you give to as a Christian. Because if you are giving to the wrong thing, God considers you a partner to that sort of thing. You remember, the Lord Jesus gave a parable in this connection, and he didn't mind speaking about this sort of thing. He told about that man that was working for another, and he was going to be fired. And so he wanted to take care of himself. And so he called in. You remember the creditors gave them a discount. They'd pay their bill, and they were glad to do it. And so he did that so that after he was fired, he would be able to appeal to them for help because he had helped them. Now, that was crooked. Our Lord didn't say it was right. In fact, he made it clear it was wrong because he said that the children of this world They're clever out yonder in this business world today. And there's many a man trying to make a fast buck today. And a businessman told me not long ago, it's a case in Southern California of dog eat dog. And therefore, if the man in the world is wise about the way he invests his money and the way he uses his money, what about you, Christian friend? Are you moved? by some sentimental story, some deathbed story, and you give because of that? Or a picture of a few orphans and these pictures of little children in foreign countries? Do you know that your money is going there? Are you motivated today by sentiment? If you are a partner today in those things that deny the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ and all that he is and all that he stands for and all that he did for us today, if you are supporting that sort of thing, you are a partner in it. God will hold you responsible for it. Therefore, he says that the children of this world are wiser than we are, and we ought to be smart. We ought to get smart. And we ought to wise up to this sort of thing today and not be taken in. Why, this thing in the way of charity has become a big racket. And it's one of the biggest rackets that there is. Taking up money for this thing, that thing. And that's the reason I always mention that I never yet have started running an orphan's home for stray cats in the Aleutian Islands. In fact, I don't know whether any cat's up there or not. But I know this, that that's not my business My business is giving out the Word of God today, and that's all it is. And this is what John said. I didn't say this. Now will you notice? He's going to conclude now. Verse 12 and 13. Having many things to write unto you, I would not write with paper and ink. Well, he wrote a pretty small letter, if you ask me. But I trust to come unto you and speak face to face that your joy may be full. In other words, John says, I can tell it better than I can write it. And David, you remember, said that. David says, my tongue is a pen of a ready writer. David, when he began to write that wonderful 45th Psalm of praise to Christ, he just said, I wish I could tell it to you. I could say it better than I can write. That's the reason I love radio today is I can say it. And I can say it lots better than I can write it. Now, he says, the children of thy elect sister greet thee. Amen. Apparently, there was a sister of this elect lady, or it was a sister church sending greetings to this lady and to the local church there. This is a tremendous little letter, friends, and this is something that ought to alert every believer today. Until next time, may God richly bless you, my beloved.